Question 1. Which of the following will not represent 0? We are given with 4 questions and we have to find which do not represent 0. So first is 1 plus 0 that is 1. So it does not represent 0. So we write not represent 0. Likewise we will do other b is 0 into 0 is always 0 therefore it does represent 0 c part 0 over 2 whenever any number is divided by 0 it goes infinity but in case case it is 0 d is 10 minus 10 is 0 over 2 again the same case as c therefore it is 0 it represents 0. If the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through examples. So we will make some cases in order to make justification. Case 1 0 into 1, that is always 0. Second case is 5 into 0, that is also again 0. So therefore we have two cases that either of 1 is 0, the answer is going to be 0. We have proved one part of the question, that is one of them will be 0, the answer will be 0. Now for two parts, if both the numbers are 0, then also again it will be 0. Therefore we can say that one or both of them will be 0 1 in case 1 and 2 and both of them in case 3 therefore that makes your question number 2 third if the product of two whole numbers is 1 can we say that one of them one or both of them will be 1 justify through examples again we will take cases but first of all Let's write some other part where it is not 0. Therefore, we will choose as 2 into 1. It will make us 2, not 1. Any number multiplied by 1 gives you number itself. Therefore, this part is wrong that any one of them is 1 if. Not a case. Now, we will take our case 1. How we can get 1 when both of them are 1? If multiplication is the case, the only way in multiplication of two numbers we can get 1 when both of them are 1. And also if we do 1 into 0, it is 0, which is not our case. So when both of them will be 1, we will have the product 1. Therefore, if both are 1, product is always 1. Find using distributive property. We did this kind of question earlier also. So 728 into splitting 100 and 1 into 100 plus 1 because it is the easiest to do. Now we can apply distributive property that we are asked to do. That is 728 into 100 there is a plus sign so we will plus it is distribution over addition 7 to 8 into 1 now simple task is to multiply and then add them it is using by trick appending two zeros at the last 7 to 8 into 1 is 7 to 8 so when you add it up it gives you 7 to 8 7 3 5 2 8 that makes your A part by using distributive property. Likewise, we will do for other four parts. Now here, second part can be split easily. So we will write 5437 into 1000 0, 0, 0 plus 1. It is 5437 0, 0, 0, 
plus 5437 when we are multiplying it and now we are adding it so this addition gives you 5442437 that is your b part now see we will split it as 800 plus 24 into 25 we split 824 as 800 plus 25 now we further split it as 800 plus 25 minus 1 into 25 when internal bracket gets over we can also write 800 plus 25 minus 1 into 25 why we are doing it because it makes our calculation easier because multiplying is easier when the numbers like 0 and 5 are there so multiplying 800 to 25 it gives you 20,000 and now 25 into 25 gives you we are using distributive property 625 minus 25 so now it's easy 625 minus 25 gives you 600 so writing 20,000 as it is and here it is subtraction 600 now look how the question was made simpler by using distributive property so 2600 is your answer d part 4000 plus 200 plus 100 minus 25 this will come to you by practice into 125 we just split it 4275 by this long way using now distributive property So 4000 into 125 gives you 5 lakh plus 200 into 125 gives you 25000 now simply adding 00s to 125 and minus 125 into 25 is 3125 now when you add and subtract eventually you get 534375 as your final answer e part now this is simpler 500 plus 4 into 35 we can split 504 500 plus 4 into 35 multiplying 500 with 35 gives you 17500 plus 35 into 4 is 140. Now adding them gives you 17640. That makes your question 4. Fifth, study the pattern. You have to study the pattern and then write the next two steps. Can you see how the pattern works? Well, you are given with hint. 1 into 8 plus 1 is 9. Then it is 1 and appending 2 at the end. 12 into 8 plus 2, 98. Likewise, he's appending next bigger number what he's doing in hint part is that he's writing inverse with one one ones so the pattern is one two three four five six now we will add six is equal to six ones plus now five ones by reversing the pattern now we'll have four ones now three ones likewise two ones and finally one now it is saying multiplying with all it with eight so this is nothing but 6 times 8 plus 5 times 8 and so on up to 1 time 8. So we are writing it 8, 8, 8, 8 plus 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 plus 8, 8 plus single 8. So when you add all of them, it turns out to be 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 8 but we are left with what we will have to add 6 also because he's also adding the number which he has added in the first number so it comes out to be 987654 that is number in decreasing order in the next subsequent digits so we have to write the next two steps one step has been written last step similarly 
next step equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we will add next digit is 7 into 8 plus 7 so when you multiply with 8 it gives you 9 8 7 6 5 3 6 we have to add 7 to it to give your final answer it would be 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 so that is your question number 5